Number 10. The Maneater of Mafue The Maneater of Mafue is one of the most legendary lions that ever lived. It was a beast of a cat that terrorized a small Zambian town called Mafue near the Longwa River Valley in 1991. The first attack happened at night while two boys were on their way home. The ferocious lion came out of nowhere. One of the boys ran from the bloodthirsty lion. The other was, unfortunately, not so lucky. The only found pieces authorities could find of the child was some bloody and torn clothing and a part of his skull. The second attack went down at the edge of the village. The victim was a grown woman who was probably pretty surprised when the lion literally and very rudely broke through the front door of her hut and then ate her for a snack. The third attack happened shortly after with yet another young boy dying of severe injuries caused by the rampaging lion. At least three more fatal attacks occurred in 1991, with the final being another woman whose home was invaded by the lion. The man-eater of Mufue was finally stopped by a hunter from California named Wayne Hosick. The savage lion's body is currently on display at Chicago's Field Museum, where it has been kept since donated in 1998. Number 9. Black-maned Ethiopian Lion an explorer with National Geographic recently spotted one of the rarest lions in the entire world. Kagan Sekersiglu came face to face with the very real king of beasts on a road in the middle of the night in Ethiopia. Rather than peeing his pants and running away, Kagan took out his camera and caught one of the only videos of a black-maned Ethiopian lion. He was in the Bale Mountains National Park studying climate change on birds when the ferocious lion appeared on the side of the road. If you've never heard of the Ethiopian lion, you're not alone. Most people only think about African lions who live in the savanna or in sub-Saharan Africa. But there are a few scant populations of rarer lions living throughout Africa, with the biggest, darkest, and most legendary being the Ethiopian lion. These big cats live in the unpopulated mountains of Ethiopia. The massive cats are known for their exceptionally black manes and were feared extinct until 2016, when about 50 of them were rediscovered. According to National Geographic, these rare few are living in an area about three full days of driving from any type of civilization, which is most likely one of the only reasons they still exist. Unfortunately, lions as a whole are considered vulnerable to extinction, with less than 20,000 left in the wild. What would you do if you saw a lion in the middle of the road at night? Would you be like this guy and risk your life for a picture? Or would you get the heck out of there? Number 8. The Barbary Lion The Barbary Lion is definitely extinct. According to Scientific America, the very last Barbary Lion of Panthera Leo Leo died in 1922 after being killed by a French colonial hunter in the country of Morocco. Barbary lions were also known as Atlas lions, and hundreds of years ago, they roamed freely through the deserts and mountains of Morocco and Egypt. The Barbary lion was once the largest subspecies of lion on the planet, making them some of the biggest and toughest cats that ever lived. They were admired because of their immense size and their dark manes. The royal families of Morocco and other African nations often kept them as pets, and Barbary lions are famous for battling gladiators in the Roman Colosseum over a thousand years ago. Even the Tower of London infamously held Barbary lions inside of its grounds. Unfortunately for everyone, you would have needed to be alive too many hundreds of years ago to see firsthand one of these majestic beasts. Romans killed thousands of them in the Colosseum, and European hunters finished them off in the 19th century. While they're definitely extinct in the wild, there are several zoos around the world that claim to have Barbary lions in their collections. It's doubtful though. Most, if not all, of these big cats are probably not real Barbary lions, but rather hybrids with the lions from Sub-Saharan Africa. I seriously doubt pure North African lions occur in captivity anymore. Luke Hunter, president of Panthera, the conservation organization dedicated to the studying and conservation of big cats, said. Number 7. Tree Climbing Lions 
there is a special breed of lion living in Uganda. The lions here are ordinary African lions, only they like to climb trees, just like your average house cat. They're known as the tree climbing lions of Ishasha, and they are wildly important for a number of reasons, including the stability of the ecosystem and drawing in safe ecotourism from outside Uganda. But these lions are in some serious trouble. They're running out of room to roam and food to eat. The tree climbing lions of Ishasha live mainly in Queen Elizabeth National Park, in an area 10 times smaller than the Serengeti National Park, which of course is much more famous. These lions also prey primarily on Ugandan cob, a small type of antelope that lives on the grassland. These lions hunt in smaller numbers, which is probably why they don't prey on large buffalo like the lions in other parts of Africa. But there is still hope for these unique tree climbing lions, who spend much of their days just lounging on tree branches and napping. As said by the director of Uganda's Wildlife Conservation Society, the best way to preserve a future for lions in Uganda is to protect the important grasslands and woodlands that lions rely on. Hopefully these lions get more land and food soon. What do you think of these lions that like to climb up trees and chill? Would you like to see one snoozing on a branch? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number six, the monster liger. If you're interested in the world's largest lion, check out this massive beast that looks more like a saber-toothed tiger than any kind of lion you've ever seen. That's because it kind of is a prehistoric monster. The cat's name is Apollo, and he is the hybrid offspring of both a lion and a tiger. He also weighs 705 pounds or 320 kilograms, making him one of the biggest cats ever bred in the United States, and almost double the weight of either a lion and a tiger. Apollo lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He is of a similar size to the ancient cave lions and saber-toothed tigers that went extinct over 42,000 years ago. According to Mike Holston, known as the real Tarzan online, Apollo can run up to 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour and is twice as heavy as a normal lion. Ligers like Apollo can grow to be 12 feet or 3.6 meters long and 6 feet or 1.8 meters tall. Ligers first emerged in the 19th century in India and are only found in captivity. This is because lions and tigers live separately in the wild. It's believed that there are less than a thousand ligers in the world. Even among ligers, Apollo is rare. He and his three brothers became the first white ligers on the planet when they were born in December of 2013 from a white male lion and a white female tiger. Apollo was the smallest at that time, with his owner saying that he behaved more like a kitten, purring all the time and always demanding to be petted. Aw. According to Guinness World Records, the record for the largest living cat actually belongs to Hercules, an adult male liger also living at Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina, who is also Apollo's uncle. Hercules weighs over 900 pounds or 408 kilograms, and when standing on his hind legs, he is 11 feet or 3.3 meters tall. Hercules eats around 20 pounds or 9 kilograms of beef or chicken every single day. Number 5. Syrian War Lion A Syrian war lion was recently given a shot at love when the Lion's Rock Big Cat Sanctuary from South Africa and the Four Paws International Advocacy Group got together and played matchmaker. Saeed the lion, who survived a daring rescue from the zoo where he was being kept in deplorable conditions in Syria, was matched with Nala. It has been over two years since Saeed's rescue and he was just placed in the neighboring area to Nala. Already, Saeed has shown great interest in his female companion. They talk to each other through the fence, and according to the director of the Wild Animals Department at Four Paws, both lions will be placed together in the same habitat if they continue getting along. As for Saeed, it really is a tale of triumphing over the odds. He was born during the war in Syria and had a pretty miserable life before being rescued. After two years, his health, both mental and physical, recovered dramatically. Now he's got a nice place to live in Africa where he belongs, 
and maybe even a girlfriend. Number 4. Ancient Cave Lions During the last ice age, Panthera spalea, also known as cave lions, lived all across the Earth. Recent genetic studies have shown that cave lions differed quite a bit from modern lions, Panthera leo. They were entirely different species. This genetic study was thanks to a frozen cave lion cub found in Siberia and investigated by Love Dahlin in the Center of Paleogenetics in Sweden. The cub was named Spartok, and she lived 43,000 years ago and was left frozen in the Siberian permafrost. This cub was also less than a month old when she died, and she never even opened her eyes. Cave lions lived throughout Alaska, Eurasia, and the Yukon Territory of modern-day Canada. The last cave lions probably died exactly 14,000 years ago, right at the end of the Ice Age. These lions were much larger than modern lions, and they didn't have manes like you see with African lions today. And they moved from Eurasia into America before the land bridge closed, just like the first migrant humans who came to the Americas. But even though the cave lions looked more intense than modern lions and were arguably more ferocious, they shared similar behavioral traits, such as living in prides and practicing courtship rituals. Number 3. Cape Lion The Cape Lion falls into the same category as the Barbary Lion, as it went officially extinct quite some time ago. A few controversial lions were found bred in captivity in Russia back in 2000 that some alleged to be extinct Cape lions, and they were brought to South Africa for breeding. Unfortunately, they were never confirmed to be legitimate Cape lions, meaning the species is still effectively extinct. The big difference between Cape lions and Barbary lions was their morphology. Cape lions had huge manes that extended way back behind their shoulders and even covered their bellies. They also had ears with dark black tips. The Cape lion has been called the second largest lion subspecies, with some estimates placing maximum weight at an outstanding 600 pounds or 272 kilograms. That makes it one and a half times larger than the modern African lion. However, not everyone is convinced that the Cape lion is its own species. Some experts believe the Cape lion is actually just a kind of Transvaal lion from the southernmost region of South Africa. Number 2. The Black Lion Tamarin It's time to look at the Black Lion Tamarin, and no, it's not actually a lion. The Black Lion Tamarin is the rarest of the New World monkeys and is endemic to the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil. What's truly amazing about these tamarins is that they look just like lions. They have huge black manes, giving them an air of authority that other monkeys simply lack. They also live exclusively inside a single patch of forest in the Moro do Diabo State Park. The black lion tamarin was thought to be extinct for nearly 65 years. Not a single one was spotted until 1970. Then, in 2016, an adult couple were found to be breeding after six years without a single spotting. These monkeys might not be lions, but they're close enough to earn a spot on the list. Black lion tamarins are some of the coolest, most exotic, and least known monkeys in the world. Number 1. The Black Lion? Unfortunately, there are no black lions anywhere on Earth. As cool as it would be for a rare black lion to be roaming around in the jungle, it's simply not true. Even if you see a photograph of a completely black lion posted online, it's definitely a fake digital fabrication. The closest thing on Earth to a real black lion is the black-maned Ethiopian lion, but even it only has a black mane. There are no lions covered in black fur, it's simply not a thing. White lions are another story altogether. Black lions are a myth. White lions are a very real group of rare cats with hair that looks bleached white. These magnificent animals suffer from leucism, like a halfway albinism. Leucism causes the cats to have a coat of hair that's as pale as flour rather than tawny and yellow. It's an uncommon condition, and there aren't many white lions left in the world today, but they definitely exist. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite lion? 
Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another awesome video. See you next time. Bye-bye.